Sports as usual, back by popular demand. Hindi mo wala ang My Town Tampayan kung wala tayong special guest. So guys, please do give a round of applause to the one and only Miss Cherise Terano. Yes, yes. Bago Hello, Cha! Bago ka lang ba dito? <laughs> Iba yung ano natin, team natin nga. Ay, sorry, sorry. Akala ko nasa boy tayo. Ano bang ganap today? And of course, aside from me and Cha, isa pa akong papakilala sa inyo, ang cutie boy next door ng Palawan. Give it up for Art. Art. <laughs> Let's go, Art. Let's go, Art. Let's go, Art. Let's go, Art. Oh, kamusta, men? Kamusta, men? Ready ka na ba? Yeah. Ready ka na ba? Okay. Ready ba kayo? So, a bit of fake, ano lang naman? Question lang naman. Mm-hmm. Kilala na namin kasi si Cha. But tell us something about yourself. So, ayun nga, as you mentioned, taga ano po ako, taga Palawan. Isa ka sa Palawan. Wala ko ba na po ito, Princesa? Yeah, or El Dido. Uh, if you're familiar sa uh, San Vicente, uh, so hindi siya yung may pinaka-longest beach sa buong mm. mundo. Ay, taray! With, uh, with at least 14 kilometers. Beachfront, beach. Front, beach. Usually, uh, dinadayo uh, talaga siya ng mga turista. Yup. Mm-hmm. So guys, alam nyo na. White beach siya, no? White beach. White beach. Oh. Pero I've been to Palawan na din, pero sa El Nido. And mm-hmm. sobrang daming islands. Medyo nakakabitin yung trip ko, so baka bumalik din ako. Yes, and you should ano, include your bucket list. In terms of fried chicken, meron din ba naman doon kahit pa Of course, marami. Last time na pumunta ako ng El Nido, ano eh, wala ang mga fast food. Oo, oh, talagang ano Here talaga. Local. Eh. Talagang Pero support local, local sila. Talaga. Mostly, ihawan kasi talaga. Mm-hmm, yung yung mga, mga seafood. Ito. The reason why we invited you, because today, our theme for today is actually about the fried chicken. And by the way, we're celebrating again. In National Fried Chicken Day. So, mm-hmm. happy National Fried Chicken Day. Happy Fried Chicken Day. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be comparing three brands na kilala dito sa Philippines sa convenience store. One is yung fried chicken ng 7-Eleven. The second one will be the fried chicken of Lily Stop. Uncle John's. And the third one is the fried chicken of Blossom. So, the three categories that we had to consider here is one, first thing is the appearance. Mm-hmm. The second one will be on the taste and the flavor. And lastly, will be for value. So in terms of opinions, how does it look, diba? Is it something na enticing? Not just externally, but rather internally, diba? Malambot ba siya? Natutunaw ba siya sa bibig? Tender juicy. Is it really crispy, diba? The second one will be on taste. In terms of the flavor itself, kanilang mga sarili-sariling mga convenience store, of course, meron din naman silang pumamaraan ng kanilang mga sariling timpla. Matamis, masarap, maanghang. There's a different approach in terms of how they actually make it. Juicy ba siya? Or is it actually kind of dry? And lastly, the third criteria that we had to consider is more on the value. When I say value, it's more on the pricing of the given fried chicken. So for the price of this, akma ba siya dun sa fried chicken that the given brand or the given convenience store is actually offering with. The okay. second one will be on portion, di ba? Kung gano'n siya karaki at gano'n siya kadami. Kung mabubusog ka ba with that price, di ba? Uh, yes, yes. So ano, game? Game? Okay, let's start. Okay, check! Ipasok ang mga fried manok. <laughs> chicken! Let's put it in here muna. Another one, Lawson, and the Uncle Judge coming. Okay, so Art, since you're a very special guest for tonight's segment of My Town Food Trip to Bayan, we're gonna give you the opportunity to choose kung ano yung preferred fried chicken mo, kunang titikman mo. Mm. Okay, I'll go first. Yeah. Okay, ito. Ah, okay. Oh. Ang fried chicken ng 7-Eleven. Crunch time from 7-Eleven. Okay. okay, let's set aside muna yung dalawa. Yan. So, yun. Actually, ako, it's my first time na titikman ko tong 7-Eleven. Seryoso? Mm. Uh, yeah. Parang pag 7-Eleven kasi, yung marami kasi silang choices ng yes. meal. Bukod uh, sa fried chicken. Meron silang chicken nuggets eh. Yeah, may so chicken nuggets sila. Meron. meron silang mga sisig and everything else. Show pa ako mga ganun. Mm, yes. Me personally, natry ko na yung 7-Eleven na chicken before. It's been a while na rin. I think that was way back on lunch. Usually, mga workmate ko, we prefer to go to 7-Eleven kasi most convenient yan. Mas malapit, nearby. Actually, walang kanto dito siguro sa Pilipinas, especially in Metro Manila, na walang 7-Eleven. Okay, let's start. Okay. Pero alam niyo, Fredis, nung kinakat ko siya, super lambot niya. Hindi siya mahirap hiwain. So for me, as a person na nakabrace, parang mahalaga din talaga siya kasi syempre pinagbabawalan tayo sa matitigas sa pagkain. So, I mean, the first thing I consider is you, yung manok mismo. Diba? I know for a fact na yung manok is actually juicy delicious. Pag pinipil mo siya, nakikita mo yung strength mm-hmm. ng muscle talaga ng fried chicken. Fiber ng... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the fiber is something. So in terms of appearance, how is it? For <laughs> me, nung nakita ko siya, parang medyo dry siya tignan. Mm-hmm. Pero pag kinain mo siya, hindi siya ganun ka-juicy, pero hindi din naman talaga siya ganun ka-dry. Dry. That's right. I think it's the right balance. I yeah, think. balance naman siya. So... But I guess, ito yung tipong dry na to the extent na mapapainom ka pa rin, I guess. Pero okay, okay. lang yung dry na okay, siya. It's okay lang. Me personally, in terms of opinion, ang hinahanap ko kasi in terms of fried chicken is the golden crispy color talaga, di ba? Na-achieve so, naman ba niya? Yung golden I think on a scale color? of 1 to 10, I'd give this a 6. 
medyo brownish na. Maybe an indicator na yung oil na ginamit is maybe nagamit na, di ba? How about you, Art? Okay. Well, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of 7-Eleven chicken. Ano? Yung crispiness, okay din naman. Pero medyo nakakapalan lang ako sa bread. Mm-hmm. Whatever the taste is, really melts naman kung kakainin mo. Parang naglalaro sa dila siya. Medyo salty siya, pero at least parang nagbabalanse naman siya later pag kinain na. Sa taste naman, kamusta siya? Ayun nga, as always saying, masarap siya. Okay siya para sa akin. Though meron siyang kalasa na chicken outside na wala dito sa tatlong brand na to. Ako, personally, when you look at the taste, hinahabol ko kasi yung parang, uh, hindi lang kasi salty pag tinasabi mo fried chicken na meron pa nagdadali. Kasi parang ito yung mga instances na pag kinain mo, the next thing that you would do, you would have to drink something sweet or a beverage talaga to be able to alleviate yung alat na nararamdaman ng bibig. Well, I agree. Parang pag kumain ka nitong chicken ng 7-Eleven, parang kailangan meron kayo naman. It's either soft drinks or something sweet para mag ano siya. Hindi left yung cold water lang. Mm-mm, for me. Okay. So in terms of value naman, in terms of the pricing itself, I think it's worth it. Pero as natin, magkano nga ba yung totoo? For the one-piece chicken with rice, it's 79 pesos. And for the two-piece, yan ay 149. Actually, alam mo magaling yung bumili. Malaki yung pieces na nakuha. Yeah. What I have observed, kasi madalas kami bumibili ng mga coward meat kasi ano, sa ano. Mm. Malalaki talaga yung portion mm. ng chicken. So talaga yung sulit mm-hmm. yung price na binabayara mo. Oo. Oh, oh. In terms of the portion, the size, the value, okay naman? Yeah. Sulit okay siya. siya. For me, sulit okay. siya. Uh, kumbaga, very price-wise. Okay mm-hmm. siya. So for the 7-Eleven fried chicken, now for our second chicken. fried chicken that yeah. we will try, it's gonna be the brand for Lawson. Lawson. So, Chef, take it away, please. Yeah, may gravy. So the difference here, kanina, in terms of dito kay, uh, kay 7-Eleven, wala silang naka-attach na condiment. I think it was just a mistake. But usually, either gravy or ketchup. Chef, do the honors, please. Kitang-kita niya naman. Ooh, la la. One for you as our special guest. Ayan. Kuli natin yung gravy. First one, again, first criteria will be on appearance. Personally, not bad in terms of the chicken strand. Nakikita mo yung pagka-fiber na talaga. Nagihiwalay siya. It's a bit more golden compared dito kay 7-Eleven. Diba? However, yung oil niya kasi parang pupulch out. Hindi siya ganun ka dry. For me naman, yung sa pagkakahiwa ko sa kanya, super crunchy kasi nung balat. Medyo doon ako nag-struggle. Pero nung nakarating na ako doon sa pinaka-meat niya, mm-hmm. malambot siya. Same as nung sa 7-Eleven. Doon sa chicken first, what I love about chicken kasi yung crispiness talaga. So, kapag nakita kong crispy, check on it. And then the color, pasok naman siya. Katawad din sinabi po kanina. Yes, it's called yung parang golden brown. So, yun. Naamay ko pa lang parang gusto ko ng lantak. Let's go to man for your second criteria which will be on the taste or the flavor. Mm-hmm. For this time, let's try with the gravy. Kuha lang ako ng fucking gravy. It's a bit interesting because in terms of juicy, it's not the juicy type na para chicken joy ng Jollibee. It's the right amount of juicy lang. Hindi rin naman siya ganun ka-dry. But in terms of the taste, I'd like to focus on in terms of gravy. Kasi parang may kulang siya ng ingredients, I guess. I think kulang siya ng pepper. For me naman, ayun, napasin ko lang ma-breading siya. Mm-hmm. Pero kahit ma-breading siya, in fairness, may lasa yung breading nila. Pwede mo na din talagang iulam and maalat yung gravy nila. So makaparami ka ng kanin kasi pambalas doon sa alat, di ba? Well, surprising din. Masarap yung lasa ng chicken. Lalo na yung skin. Flavorful siya. Pag sinasabayin mo nga siya ng kain, kumapapa-extra rice ka pa. Hindi part lang din na sobrang tigas. So being a person na naka-brace, mm, <laughs> sa big no-no. Now on, let's go on the third criteria. Let's go on with the value. Magkano yung pricing nito? Price reveal! Okay, for the one piece, it's 81 pesos. And for the two piece, it's 148. Kasama na yung rice. Not bad. Kasi ang maganda dito no, kay Lawson. Mas maroon siya nung konti lang. Pero kapag naka-dine-in ka kasi kay Lawson, it's on the rice. Yun. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's one of their given competitive advantage. Advantage. Well, tsaka kahit pag take out, automatic two rice yun. So Pum- very pumus. budget friendly siya. Compared to 7-Eleven, I think value-wise, much more better si Lawson. But when it comes to the taste demand, I think uh, 7-Eleven will take the advantage. Yeah, mas one. better si 7-Eleven in terms of taste, pero in terms of price uh, value and all. Since on the rice nga kasi sila eh, di ba? Yes, Parang yes. dun pa lang sila na yung mauna. Well, may kanya-kanya sila ano talaga. Taste-wise, 7-11. Seven seven so that's it. That's our second fried chicken by the brand of Lost. And last but not the least, I don't want to be biased about this, but just a pre-header lang. Actually, this is actually one of my favorite chicken talaga. Favorite ko din yan. Favorite ko din. Sige, di tayo magpapakabias for tonight's video. Yeah. This is actually a brand by a mini stop. It's called Uncle John. So sure. here we go. Ayan, Uncle so John's. And of course, meron siyang kasamang gravy from Mang Tomas, the Siga. First criteria will be on the appearance. 
it's a bit dry nung pagka-open. O siguro lang dahil ng patagal, di ba? However, when you try to touch it, maramdam mo yung pagkabasa na. The texture. Juicy. Yeah, juicy. Pagka-juicy na yung juicy point talaga. So baka on the appearance lang siya dry, but when you really taste it, hold it, gandun yung juiciness. Oo. Oh, baka babawi siya mamaya. For me naman, from the look pa lang, alam mong malutong na. Luto talaga siya. Tsura pa lang, mukhang flavorful na rin. And malaki yung part. Oh yeah. For appearance, it's a bit dry, pero pag hiniwa mo na, yun na. Tender na. The same time, flavorful. Parang sa tingin mo, hindi lang sa skin mismo yung flavor, flavor niya. Pati Tumatagos ng ganda sa pinaka. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, nung hiniwa ko siya, hindi rin ako nag-struggle. So, ibig sabihin, malambot siya. Now, for the second criteria, we are now tackling about the taste, the flavor itself. Okay? Okay, game? Okay. Hindi ko talaga ba dito sa point? From the size, from the taste, and everything else. You know, us Filipinos kasi, I'm not saying that for now. Pero karamihan kasi, mahilig sa mga. Me personally, hindi ako mahilig sa mga. Mm -hmm. But me, stop was able to deliver yung ang um, hang niya. To the extent that it's actually a bit friendly for me. And in terms of saltiness, the right balance, ay, hindi siya ganun ka-sweet. It's just the proper amount of salt. And in terms of the skin naman, it's actually quite crunchy. So, masarap siya. And uh, in terms of yung kaitiga ka naman, yung mga tumat. That's an added layer pa talaga that brings out the flavor talaga. Or just get a fried chicken. Maganda yung partnership ni Uncle John sa mga tumas. Yeah. Nababalance nila yung sarap ng isa't isa. Same with you. Hindi rin ako ganun ka hilig sa, sa spicy. Pero kapag sa mini-stop, masarap eh. Yung talagang gugustuhin mo. And malambot siya. Hindi mo pagsasawaan. Mm -hmm. Parang once na matikman mo na siya. Makakompare mo sa iba. Brand chicken. May laban yung laso ni uh, mini-stop. Mini-stop, actually. Now on, let's go on naman to the final category, which is the... the value for, for price. price. Yeah. For the one piece, it's 83 pesos. And for the two piece, it's 160 pesos kasama na yung gravy and one rice. I guess, in a way, kaya siya mas mahal kasi kasama na kasi talaga yung condiments niya. Pero pag yung wala, most likely hindi mas magbaba ka pa siya. It's a cost that I'm willing to pay for. Diba? Actually, kahit siya yung mas mahal ng very, very light, siya pa rin yung talagang bibili mo pa rin eh. After 10 sa taste eh, kasi nalasahan mo na. Diba? So once may experience mo na yung lasa, so, kasi hindi ko makain din, no? <laughs> in terms of the portion na lang, malaki talaga. In terms of the, the pricing, the quantity, it's not bad for a two-piece, diba? Ako talaga, hindi ka talaga madidisappoint. Kahit sa ganun yung price niya, hindi ka madidisappoint sa laki. And yung lasa, hindi nagbabago. Yes. Very consistent sila. Well, yun lang. Uh, to be honest, may na. Tapos na yung lamba. May na na. May na na. But, but that's the third criteria in terms of the value for the fried chicken, Uncle John's. Okay guys, Ready? let's review. One, two, three. Oh. Me, personally, the reason why number 3 is si 7-Eleven, I guess, siguro for this experience, may pagkaalat lang talaga yung nakain kong manok kanina. The second one will be a Lawson. I guess this is something na, when you say fried chicken, okay, it's a fried chicken. It's the proper amount between juicy and being dry. Lastly, my number one, my one and only, the Uncle John of Mini Stock. Ito yung pinaka chicken joy ng no convenience store, Uncle John's. And for me naman, my number three is Lawson. Kasi maalat na yung mismong chicken, mas, tapos maalat pa ulit yung gravy. Yeah, yeah. Hindi siya ganun ka well balanced for me. Siguro kung may rice talagang mawawala naman yung pagkaan. Yung average or yung umay. Oh yeah. And then my number 2 is 7-Eleven, the crunch time kasi it's good. For its price, for its size, for the taste, it's good. Yeah. Sadyang mas may nangingibabaw lang. Ganun okay. talaga eh. There's a lot of good things pero meron talagang mas better. And syempre, mas better, my number 1, it's mini stops Uncle John's. Yeah. Kasi, yun nga, hindi ka madidisappoint sa size, sa price, sa taste. All time fave talaga siya. Nakapag sabi mong gusto ka ng fried chicken from a convenience store, mini stop Uncle John's talaga yung nasa isip ko. Hindi ba babago yun? Yes, yes. Ikaw naman, Art! Okay, so, ako naman. So, ang number 3 ko, Lawson. Second ko, 7-Eleven. And the first one is, undoubtedly, mini stop. Bakit? So, first, muna tayo sa Lawson. What I like about dun sa appearance niya, kung titingnan mo yung chicken, it's crunchy. Tsaka yung kagandahan, hindi ganun kakapal yung ready. And na-meet naman yung expectation ko pagdating sa lasa. Okay naman siya. However, medyo dadryan ako ko dun sa meat. Second naman yung sa 7-Eleven. Okay naman siya in terms of size. Yun, malaki. Talaga ang bibili ko na to. Ah. Ang ayaw ko lang sa kanya is yung makapahal masyado yung bread niya. Ayun, medyo mas maalat siya. Pero sa price niya, affordable naman nung mm -hmm. price niya. For me, kay 7 and undoubtedly, first is mini stock. So, pare-pares naman tayo. Siyempre, doon tayo talaga nag-after sa lahat. Doon talaga. Ayun yung pinakagusto natin. So, by unanimous decision, I think we can all agree na Uncle John's talaga yeah, is the convenience diba? level. How about you guys? Ano yung pinaka-best fried chicken that you've tried in terms of the convenience store? Or better yet, what's the best fried chicken experience that you've had? Comment down below in our section box dito sa Facebook. And uh, don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe us on our social media account 
account. That's MyCountPH on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and LinkedIn. And uh, with that in mind, please, please do join us through Shay's My Town Trivia Night. And of course, magkakaroon din kami as usual, My Town Sound by Clara Prima. Now we natin. have an on-site event for our tenant. That's an exclusive event. My Town Workshop and Game Night. So watch out for that, guys. Townies! Ah, okay, okay. How about you, Art? May gusto ka bang i-shout out? Well, too many to shout out. So alam niyo na yan, mga My Town friends ko dito. Okay. Hello. Okay. And actually, special shout out po to Sir Antonio Lasig. Thank you po for the food that pinadala niyo po last time. I actually really appreciated it and our given team. And with that in mind, always remember, think positive, stay negative. Take bye care, bye guys. Tommy. See you again in our next episode. That's all. Bye-bye. Ingat ka rin,